Welcome, here's his hat. Hey guys, welcome back to Harrison Hacks. Uh, today I'm going to show you how to add more ROM packs into the portable emulation station build that I gave to you guys in a previous video uh, with the download link. So let's show you how to add more systems um, to, to that build. Um, in case you're curious, so first thing we're going to want to do is we're going to go to the link in the description and we're going to get to this page here for Mega Downloader. So what you want to do is click this green button, free download, safe download. So we're going to click that. And we're going to be prompted with sign in with Facebook, sign in with Google+. We don't have to worry about that. We're just going to click alternative download. We'll click there. It's only a small file, uh, about two megabytes. So really, really small. Okay, so now once we have that downloaded, um, we're just going to go to where we downloaded it. So Mega Downloader 1.7. So English, OK. Next, 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 install. So leave this checked. Launch Mega Downloader. Click Finish. Okay, so I've already had this installed before. Let me just clear this. So if you do get a pop-up screen uh, that comes up above this, it looks like a whole bunch of settings stuff, don't change anything. Just click Cancel. I believe it's going to be here. I don't think it's down here, but it could be. But wherever it says Cancel, click Cancel, and you'll be left with this. So from here, we're going to go to the other link in the description, uh, which will take you to Arcade Punk's uh, RetroPie ROMs Downloads Packs. Um, these are not my packs, they're obviously from Arcade Punks. Um, so what we would do is, there, there's a whole bunch of systems here. Uh, there's MAME, Atari, Atari Lynx, all that kind of stuff. And these come with the wheel art as well as the snaps, the video snaps. Um, so let's say I wanted Atari 7800, so we'll click that. Now we're going to have a countdown timer here, and once that says skip add, we're going to click it, and we're going to close the window we were in and keep this new pop-up open. So just close that window you were in, and the new pop-up open. On this page here, you can see you have two options, download with Megasync or download through your browser. Um, we're going to not do either. What we're going to do is highlight the actual link here, copy. And Mega Downloader will automatically add the link. So within Mega Downloader, you're going to want to name it. Um, I'm going to name it A7800 ROMs. Um, I'll just call it Atari. You can name it whatever you want. It doesn't matter. Uh, and then you choose your path. So... I will download it to the root of C, but you can download it wherever you want to. And once you have it named and the path, just click Add Links. Now it'll verify your download to make sure that everything is available um, from the Mega Link. And once it's done, it will start downloading all by itself. Now, I already have this pre-downloaded, but once it's done, um, I I'm just going to pause it. I'm going to pause mine. Now, once yours is, says completed, you go to where you've downloaded it to, and I have it in here, and you'll have your folder, whatever you named it. We're going to go inside, and you'll have a zip file. So just extract here. And now, um, once everything is extracted, it's really straightforward, um, nothing too difficult. Now, 98% of the time, the ROMs, the videos, and the artwork, all the names are matching. Um, I have had a few occasions where a couple of the ROMs out of the whole ROM set, something's not matching, uh, in which case, you'd have to rename 
Um, so let's just go into here. So we have, oh, this one has box art, the video snaps, as well as the wheels, and here is all your ROMs. So all you would do is just take the folder you extracted. You can cut or copy. I'm going to cut. And I'm going to go into my portable game station 1.5 dot emulation station and ROMs. And I'm going to paste it in here. Paste. So now, within our ROMs folder, we have everything set up. So now we can go ahead and launch our portable emulation station. Now, um, you'll see one once we launch, that system and the ROMs have all been automatically added to your emulation station setup. So Atari 7800, I'm using um, just for demonstration purposes. Um, but it, it, it's all here. Uh, all the games are here. And we just got to make sure our artwork matches up. So there it is. So this wasn't here before. Uh, you guys had all these systems um, except for you didn't have that. So now we've added another system. And it's that easy. Um, so we can go in here. See what we have going on. So there's our artwork video. Okay, so as we can see, Barnyard Blaster doesn't have a video. Um, so let's say, let's say Barnyard Blaster. Okay, so where you press start if you want to quit emulation station, go down to quit quit emulation station yes so let's see if this included so we're gonna go to into our dot emulation station ROMs we'll go into Atari 7800 or whatever you have um, added now I don't see a barnyard video um, and all you would do to get the barnyard video uh, the easiest way is MU movies so if we were to go to MU Movies, and in order to download from MU Movies, you'll have to sign up. It's a free sign up. Uh, you just choose your display name, e put your email address and your password, your country. Um, you can take this off if you want do the captcha I agree create your account now I already have account created but once you have your account created you would go to downloads sorry my computer's running a little slow uh, my recording software really really eats up the processor so if we go to downloads we can go to console media if we're looking for something for consoles and on the right hand side you can see we have Atari 2600, 5200, 7200, uh, 7800 so let's go to game videos now we have Atari 7800 snap packs 2.0 so I'm gonna say that that's what we're looking for so we're gonna click this you would just come down here to download files agree and download and now you can choose the game you want so here is barnyard blaster so here we go Click download and I believe there's a 30 second wait on your downloads um, for the site they allow you to download, if you have a standard membership, um, 1.5 gigs uh, per day. If you um, donate to the, to the site, uh, you actually get higher quality videos. Now, higher quality, for the size of our video uh, snap packs, we don't really have to worry about the quality at this point. But if you do want to donate, I, I absolutely would say go ahead and donate. Um, 
So I'm going to take my Barnyard Blaster where I downloaded it. I'm going to cut. And we are in our Snap folder within Atari 7800. I'm going to paste. Now I have Barnyard Blaster and USA in brackets. So let's just see what we have here. Barnyard Blaster, USA in brackets. So I'm going to relaunch Emulation Station to ensure that our new video pops up when we go to that game um, within within the system. So once uh, once you do that, and it's very easy. What's what I like about that MU MU movies was I could download individual games instead of having to download a whole new pack of, of video snaps. So Atari seventy eight hundred, and there it is, Barnyard Blaster. So uh, hopefully this helped you guys out. Um, basically, if you want, check out my previous video in the link. Uh, in the link in the description will get you the download for the base pack um, and this will this will hopefully help you add more ROM packs and more systems to your setup so again guys uh, thanks for watching please like subscribe and have a good day